Okay, let's try to find an inflection point for this quadratic function, if there is one. So to get the inflection points, what we want to do is find the second derivative and figure out when it equals zero. But before we get the second derivative, we need to get the first derivative. So I'm going to apply the power rule. Go ahead and bring down the constant. And then the derivative for x squared is going to be 2x to the first power. Bring the exponent down, multiply it in front, and reduce the exponent by 1. Plus, for our second term there, the 8x, that derivative is just going to be 8. And then finally, the constant there at the end, it's going to have a derivative of 0. We can clean this up a little bit. The negative 1 half times 2x is just going to be negative 1x plus 8. And then we'll drop the 0 at the end. So that's our first derivative. To get the second derivative, again, we basically just use the power rule. The x is raised to the first power. So the negative 1 can come along. Bring that exponent down, reduce the exponent by one, and then eight is going to have zero for its derivative because it's a constant. Now this reduces down a little bit further. We can get negative one, and then x to the first x to the zero power is going to be one. Um, so that's multiplying by one, and then we can drop the zero at the end. We'll get negative one for our second derivative. Now because this is a constant and we don't have any x's remaining. If we tried to set this second derivative equal to zero, we're not going to be able to find any solutions um, because there's no x remaining with the second derivative. All right. If there were an x remaining, we'd figure out when that x, um, when you set the second derivative equal to zero, what values would make a true statement there. But because we don't have an x with our second derivative and it's negative throughout, what we can say is this is going to be concave down for the entirety and we don't have any inflection points. So no inflection points. And that kind of makes sense if we think about this original function. This original function was a quadratic function. All right, so that means that it's a parabola. And because that leading term is negative, that leading coefficient, that means it's going to be opening downward and it's going to be concave down for the entirety of the graph. So I hope this helps out as you're trying to find inflection points. Just remember it's based on the second derivative and when that's going to equal zero. Good luck.